guys! Hello everybody! Hello you! Welcome to my channel Crazy's Art and today we are going to discuss everything about the crochet hooks. So we are going to compare them and later you will see what is actually nice to use. So hang on there and let's start this video. As you can see, there are a lot of different kinds of crochet hooks in the market. But I am just going to show you right um, at this time all of my 4mm crochet hook. So I have a lot of 4mm crochet hook because they are like my favorite um, size because it, fit, it fits well on my hand. And if you can see here, there's also this very long crochet hook and this is for Tunisian crochet. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is the anatomy of the crochet hook. So if you can see it here, this is a normal crochet hook. So we have the hook. This is the hook. Um, this is what we call the hook. And this is the throat. This is the shaft. This is the grip or the thumb rest. And this is the body of the crochet hook. So this is like the normal crochet hook that you can buy in the craft store, like that. So there are also like two different kinds of how you can hold this crochet hook and that is what we call the butter knife hold, like this, and the chopstick hold, like this. So for me, I prefer using the butter knife hold because this um, kind of grip is just very fitting for my hand. It is just really your own preference on how you hold the crochet hook. And there are also like two different kinds of crochet hooks or at least like the head. It is called the inline and the tapered one. If I'm going to show you like this one is from Clover. This is like what you call the tapered. It just looks like that. It it is just like fuller here. And I think with the Tunisian hook that I have here, it it looks like um an inline because it has this different kind of shaft or throat here. So if you will compare them together, they are very different from each other. So it looks like that. So this one can really go to the edge of the crochet hook. And this one is just until there. But it is still, but it is still um, nice when you are doing your project because it still have that grip on your yarn when you are doing it. Like what I said, there are a lot of different kinds of crochet hook. So this one is like from Clover. I use this crochet hook a lot because it just really feels very comfortable when I am um, doing my project. And this one is a very, um, it's the yarn is sliding very well with this kind of hook. So this is like a very flat um, thumb rest that you have it here also. I got this one, the prim. This is also a 4mm crochet hook. I'm not really a fan of this yet because I just tried it with one project but then it didn't really feel very um, comfortable with my hand. But I am not giving up on this kind of um, crochet hook. I will still try it on my future um, project so but it feels it feels actually also not bad on the hand it's very ergonomic so it is not really that bad and this one this is actually my very expensive um, crochet hook that I have this is like um, from Addy this is a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and I can say that this is really for people who have, I think, a very big hand. So, if you can see it here with my fingers really, or in my hand, it is just really big. 
but it actually crochet also nice it is an ergonomic um, crochet hook and I think for people who have like problems holding their crochet hooks like people who have Ryuma um, this can be an like a very nice um, crochet hook that you can use with your project but um, yeah it is just looking like that then we also have the wooden ones and this is like I'm not sure what kind of wood it is but it is also a just like a crochet hook a normal crochet hook I would say that I am not really a very or a fan of the wooden ones because I feel like they are not that very strong and I am afraid that at one point when I am doing my project that they are just gonna break when I am you know um, crocheting a project because sometimes there are like when you have a project that is very um, tight your tension was very tight and you're going to use this there is a tendency that this can break but it is a nice idea then we also have this kind of hook and this is like plastic hook you can see it there this is one of the first crochet hooks that I bought this too so the thing is with this crochet hook when I am trying to slide it through my yarn it is not very smooth but it somehow hangs somewhere here but maybe um the reason it is like that it is because i haven't used it that for long yet this one is a different it has a different grip this one it has like a very flat thing here uh, this is the hook that i've been using for a long time already and also this one i when i was using this this is a very hard one when i was using this um for a long time crocheting like three four hours five hours at one point my hand was a bit painful already because or my thumb because i can feel the numbers when you are holding here with the grip so i changed to this um crochet hook which is also very ergonomically nice to hold like this one also this is also almost the same but um it is it has a different grip on it that you can really feel your knuckles or this this part you know um yeah you can feel this part on this one and it feels very comfortable when you are crocheting so and this one i just got it for free when i ordered something this one is kind of funny because it has two heads so the head is like this side is the 4mm crochet um, hook and this one is for 4mm crochet hook. So if you will compare them, I will just get another one. Okay, this is from Clover. So if you will compare them, the 3mm crochet hook is much more smaller than the 4mm crochet hook. So you can already see the difference between the two. This works also the same like the other crochet hooks that we have here and it also have this kind of feeling because you can also feel here the numbers when you are going to crochet so and i am not really sure yet if this feels very comfortable because there are times of course that when you are going to crochet that you can um you know like slip the edge of it from your project and that you know that it just hangs in there so maybe that is my thinking about this hook and this one is a Tunisian crochet when you are going to make a very long project like a blanket or a scarf and you wanted to try the Tunisian um, stitch then this is like a very nice um, hook to try on um, I haven't tried really the Tunisian crochet yet but this is like very long if you will compare it from the other crochet hooks here it is just really um, very long from yeah than the normal crochet hook 
So guys, if you want to try out how to crochet, I would recommend you to get like the one you are going to be comfortable with. Most of the time, like when you are in a craft shop, you can ask the seller if you can first have a try out for the grip. Uh, of this crochet hook so you can really feel how they feel on your hand and you can just like do this or you know just like do that and just like check if it's really comfortable with your hand I would prefer or I will recommend you to get this kind of um, grips because this is just like really fitting on your on your on your fingers or you can also try to get this one because this one is much more flatter if you are going to crochet this is a uh, nice um, actually this is my favorite hook I've been using this a lot and this one actually this this three are my favorite um, crochet hooks that I'm using because they are just very comfortable for my hand but of course it is a personal preference if you preferred something like this it's also okay as long as you can do your project without any pain for your hand that is okay so guys if you enjoyed my video and learned something from me please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share like and the notification just turn it on <laughs> and thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time and bye bye